In these last days, we have been facing many difficulties with the pandemic, climate change, increase of wickedness, and rumors of wars. It is not a coincidence that the Lord Jesus himself had already said, You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All of this will be the beginning of birth pains. Jesus said that the Great Tribulation will occur. This will be the most difficult period in the history of humanity, lasting for seven years, with three and a half years of false peace. The last three and a half years will be days of great suffering, like never before seen since the creation of the world. And what if I tell you that it is possible to have an idea of when the Great Tribulation will occur just by observing the prophecies of the Bible? What if I inform you that we may be closer than we think? But have peace, for this message is not intended to make you anxious or afraid. I simply want to alert you that the return of Jesus is drawing near and that we should seek his kingdom above all else. And I am sure that you will be impressed by the power of God's word. Before we begin, I ask that you subscribe to my channel. Just click the button below this video and subscribe. Next to it, you will see a bell icon. It is very important to activate the bell to receive notifications whenever I upload a new video. All right, so let's begin. As I mentioned before, it is possible to predict the time when the Great Tribulation will begin. Of course, there are various theological perspectives, but I would like to analyze some Bible texts to draw certain conclusions. Did you know that many lives are currently lost due to wars, especially in the Middle East where various conflicts occur? Within this backdrop of great sadness we have Israel, which is constantly on alert for attacks. And to understand more about the Great Tribulation, it is necessary to first grasp the role of Israel in God's promises after the death of Jesus on the cross and his resurrection. Jerusalem was destroyed by the Roman Empire in 70 AD, and the people of Israel were scattered throughout the world, fulfilling exactly what was prophesied by Ezekiel. Take a look at what is written. I will make you a ruin and a reproach among the nations around you, in the sight of all who pass by. You will be a reproach and a taunt, a warning and an object of horror to the nations around you when I inflict punishment on you in anger and in wrath and with stinging rebuke. I the Lord have spoken. And in Mark chapter 13, Jesus had already prophesied about the destruction of the temple, saying that not one stone would be left upon another. Today, historians confirm that when Rome destroyed Jerusalem and burned the magnificent temple, the soldiers removed all the stones to extract the melted gold that had flowed among them. Every word of Jesus was fulfilled exactly as he had said. That is the power of the word of God in revealing to us what is to come. And now you will be amazed by what Christ said to his disciples about his second coming and the great tribulation. See what he said. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see all these things, you know that it is near, right at the door. Truly I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Many theologians assert that the fig tree represents Israel and that for it to blossom, its territory needed to be reclaimed. This happened in 1948, approximately 74 years ago. Today, despite ongoing conflicts, Israel is once again a country with territory and sovereignty. When Jesus said, this generation will not pass away until all these things take place, he was not referring to the generation of his disciples, but to the generation that would witness all these things, namely, the people who would see the fig tree blossom. This was fulfilled in the generation of the year 1948. To understand this prophecy of Jesus, Many people try to determine the duration of a generation. However, the most important aspect is knowing how many years a person can live. For that, let's read what is written in Psalm 90. It says the following, Our days may come to 70 years or 80 if our strength endures, yet the best of them are but trouble and sorrow, for they quickly pass and we fly away. Taking into consideration this verse, the average lifespan of a person is about 70 or 80 years. This means that the generation that witnessed the re-establishment of Israel in 1948 could be alive until the year 2028. It is important to note that some people may live over 100 years, but that is rare. Therefore, 
Does this suggest that the Great Tribulation could begin in 2028? I would like to make it clear that I am not asserting anything. As Jesus himself said that no one knows the day of his return, that he will come like a thief without prior warning. However, even though Jesus does not provide us with dates, he instructs us to observe the signs, and we have noticed that the days are becoming increasingly difficult. Just look around us to see that the world is different. The pandemic, for example, is taking a long time to end. There are rumors of wars between Russia and the United States, which are frequently reported in the major newspapers. People are being persecuted and killed for not adhering to a particular religion, for belonging to a different race, or even for holding political views different from their governments. Natural disasters, such as earthquakes and floods, have significantly increased in recent years, and scientists claim that the problem is irreversible. Additionally, there is the project for the reconstruction of the Third Temple, where the Antichrist will sit, and the advancement of technology as prophesied by Daniel regarding the end times. Although there have been terrible moments throughout human history, it is in this generation that everything seems to be ready for the onset of the Great Tribulation. I want to give an example of this in Revelation chapter 11, where it is written that during the period of the Great Tribulation, two witnesses will preach the gospel to the Jews for three and a half years until the Antichrist kills them. We can see how all these events will unfold. Now when they have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will attack them and overpower and kill them. Their bodies will lie in the public square of the great city, which is figuratively called Sodom and Egypt, where also their Lord was crucified. For three and a half days, some from every people, tribe, language, and nation will gaze on their bodies and refuse them burial. The inhabitants of the earth will gloat over them and will celebrate by sending each other gifts, because these two prophets had tormented those who live on the earth. Here it is written that all peoples, tribes, languages, and nations will witness the bodies of the witnesses simultaneously in the streets of Jerusalem. This would have been impossible during the time when the Apostle John received this revelation in the book of Revelation. A hundred years ago, it would also have been impossible since television did not exist. However, nowadays, each person has their own cell phone and news on TV reaches even the most remote places in the world in real time. This means that our generation is fully prepared for the fulfillment of the prophecies in the book of Revelation. I want to remind you again, brothers and sisters, that the intention of this video is not to cause fear or anxiety. What I want is to alert everyone to the signs that we see every day and the need for us to prepare ourselves in holiness for the return of Jesus. Let's see what the Apostle Peter said. Since everything will be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought you to be? You ought to live holy and godly lives as you look forward to the day of God and speed its coming. That day will bring about the destruction of the heavens by fire, and the elements will melt in the heat. But in keeping with His promise, we are looking forward to a new heaven and a new earth, where righteousness dwells. So then, dear friends, since you are looking forward to this, make every effort to be found spotless blameless and at peace with him. Those who believe in Jesus as Lord and Savior should seek a life of holiness, abandoning their sins and everything that separates them from the Lord. The Bible affirms that we are saved not by our own merits, but by the sacrifice of Jesus for our sins. When we believe in him as Lord and Savior, we are forgiven, saved, and our names are written in the book of life. Amen. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, do not wait for the arrival of the Great Tribulation to repent. Today is the day to repent and make the decision to follow Christ. Do not wait for things to worsen to value what is truly important. Your life is precious, and Jesus has not returned yet because He desires more people to turn to Him. So answer the Lord's call, and you will not need to fear the future. Amen. If you enjoyed this message, share it on WhatsApp on Facebook. Let us spread the message of God, okay? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be waiting for you in the next video. May God bless you all.